Coronavirus continues to spread in the United States. 15 states and more than 100 cases total. And the number of American deaths is up to nine, all in Washington state. And health reporter Stephanie Saul is here with the latest information as it just keeps changing. It does keep wow. changing, that's true. You know, the situation in Washington state could be getting even worse. Researchers say there is now evidence the virus may have been circulating there for up to six weeks undetected. If true, that could mean there are hundreds of undiagnosed cases in that area. Washington state remains the epicenter of the nation's coronavirus outbreak. At least eight people have died there, most of them from this Kirkland nursing home outside Seattle. Relatives are concerned dozens may be infected but have not yet been tested. I just feel they're covering it up at this point. I just feel there's something going on that they don't want to they don't want to admit. Washington Senator Patty Murray grilled health officials about delays in testing. I have people in my state who may have been exposed. Uh, they cannot get answers about where to go. The head of the FDA says a private company is close to shipping out thousands of kits to labs across the country. 2,500 test kits by the end of the week. That should give us the capacity in the hands of laboratories once they validate to perform up to a million tests. Pennsylvania health officials say this state lab in Exton is already testing for coronavirus, currently doing six swabs a day with plans for increased capacity soon. Test results are typically available within a day. In New York, there is a second coronavirus case, a man in his 50s who worked in Manhattan with no travel connections. Schools his children attend are being checked. At least one is closed. We are now going through possible connections to track down possible connections to find people. And while there's a big push for a vaccine, health officials say that's still a year and a half away. When we hear talk about a vaccine is going to be ready in a, in a couple of months, it won't be ready for being deployed. It's going to take a while. And also on Capitol Hill today, lawmakers are finalizing a $7.5 billion bipartisan bill to fund the government's emergency response to the outbreak. Also in our area, we continue to have no confirmed cases, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, or Delaware. Right, because I mean, this time yesterday you were saying there were two people being looked at. We had two pending Delaware. cases in Kent County. Both of those are negative. Negative. Okay. Stephanie, thank you. Uh -huh. now,